Water harvesting systems provide us with water we can use in our landscapes, either to replace potable water or as additional irrigation. Just like our cars, bikes, and AC units, these water harvesting systems require care and maintenance to operate most efficiently. Whether you've just installed your tank or you've had it for several years, we have a few tips to keep your system in good shape. First, always start at the top of your system, the gutters. At least twice a year, check to make sure they're secure and free of leaves. You may have screened gutters, which helps keep the debris out. Otherwise, we recommend a debris filter or first flush that can be cleaned out to prevent debris from entering the tank. If these get clogged, your system may not capture all the water it's designed to. At least once a year, take a good look at the tank. When I'm with a customer, I usually ask the following questions. Is there any significant amount of light getting into the tank? If so, make sure to fill those gaps. Are the tanks themselves screened to prevent mosquitoes from entering? If not, add a screen. Are any fittings leaking? If so, tighten them up. Is exposed pipe painted? If not, make sure to paint it, otherwise that PVC will crack. Is the tank overflow intact and away from the foundation? We want to make sure that water is staying away from the foundation of your home. You'll also want to inspect your tank for sediment buildup, corrosion inside and out, cracks and weak spots, and clear any overhanging vegetation. Ensuring that your tank is secure and functional will help keep the water safe and the tank in good working condition for years to come. Passive water harvesting is a simple idea of shaping a landscape to capture and retain rain on site, allowing it to soak in and water plants without supplemental irrigation. In Tucson, these landscape features are often called earthworks or rain gardens. Our landscapes are living systems that require care to maintain capacity and remain functional. To prepare for seasonal rains, you'll want to inspect your system at least twice per year. You may have screen gutters, which helps keep the debris out. Otherwise, we recommend a debris filter or first flush that can be cleaned out. If gutters or downspouts get clogged, your system may back up and not capture all the water it's designed to. Follow these gutters to their outlets, usually downspouts or pop-ups. Make sure there's no debris buildup or erosion at these outflow points. Debris should be cleared away and rocks should be added to keep soil in place and prevent additional erosion. If your passive system involves capturing stormwater from the street, make sure to inspect for blockages and clean out the sediment trap at least twice a year. This may involve removing vegetation, debris, and very dirty soil and reinforcing with riprap. After storms, inspect berms and slopes for signs of erosion and armor with rocks as necessary. Check basins to ensure water has infiltrated into the soil within 24 hours and keep weeds and invasive species out. Annually, consider whether basins need additional mulch and carefully prune trees and plants to keep their natural shape. Ensuring that your earthworks are intact and directing water to your basins will provide you with rainwater for your landscape for years to come.